just spreading the real and letting you know. Also do not forget that it is free and okay to hit that subscribe button right now. Recent studies have shown that this rare blood group may indicate non-human traits in your macup which set you apart from the conventional DNA of homo sapiens. There is a lot of confusion about the origin of the word Nephilim and what it means. In Hebrew it literally means to fall. As in fallen angel. The Bible, the Talmud and the Quran, where they are referred to as jinn, all speak of fallen angels. In the book of Genesis in the Bible it relates how the Nephilim produced children with humans. One was even depicted as killing Japheth Noah's son and taking his place whereupon he fathered many children with Japheth's unsuspecting wife which eventually populated much of northern Europe. Experts can't agree about where the origin of this side order of humans may have originated, citing fallen angels, Nephilim, or aliens as possible sources, but they do agree on the characteristics which can include higher than average IQ more sensitive vision and other senses. Lower body temperature higher blood pressure increased occurrence of psychic slash intuitive abilities predominantly blue, green, or hazel eyes red or reddish hair increased sensitivity to heat, and sunlight cannot be cloned extra vertebra once you have finished checking yourself over, if you are rhesus negative you are already very special as very few, 15%. People fall within that category. It's interesting to note that the coloring referred to in these characteristics are typical of Northern Europe, an echo of the biblical story of Noah's son being murdered by the Nephilim and the children produced populating Northern Europe perhaps. But what does rhesus negative mean exactly? Of the human blood types, O is the most common. It is a universal blood type. Blood types are further broken down into two groups, negative and positive. This is called the right hand factor. The right hand factor is the rhesus, rhesus as in monkey, blood factor. If your blood tests positive for this, you have the factor in your blood. If you test negative, you do not have the factor in your blood. The right hand factor is a protein found in the human blood that is directly linked to the rhesus monkey. When blood type is inherited from your parents, it is known that this factor element of the blood is the most consistent human or animal characteristic passed on to the offspring. There are very few aberrations. It rarely changes. Most people, about 85%, have Rh positive blood. That could support the idea that humans evolved or were derived from primates 15% of humans have Rh negative blood. If blood type is one of least mutable human characteristic, where did the right hand negative come from? This question has puzzled scientists for years. There is some evidence that suggests the Rh negative blood group may have appeared about 35,000 years ago. And the appearance was regional and seemed to, originally, be connected with certain groups slash tribes of people. Northern Spain and southern France is where you can find some of the highest concentration of the Rh negative factor in the Basque people. Another original group were the Eastern slash Oriental Jews. In general, about 40-45% of Europeans have the Rh negative group. Only about 3% of African descendant and about 1% of Asian or Native American descendant has the Rh negative group. Due to the larger European numbers, it is a safe bet that was where it was introduced into the human genetic code. Could this also be where the Caucasian was introduced? Is the introduction of Caucasian related to the Rh blood factor? This would lend credence that the Rh negative factor was introduced from an outside source. Could the source be from human-like beings from another planet? Or maybe we are just as alien as they are, in that, we are a product of their manipulation and interference. Could they have come here, and manipulated life forms already present on earth to create modern man? Many ancient texts, including, the Bible, do support this theory. Many stories in the ancient texts, especially pre-Christian texts, do tell about a race, that from the heavens to the earth came. In the Bible, man saw them as gods, living long lives and performing miracles. In the book of Enoch, which never quite made it officially into the Bible as it was considered idolatrous and too concerned with the story of the angels, the Nephilim and fallen angels are referred to in detail. The book was written by Enoch who was a very interesting and creative biblical character. 
he was considered to be the same historical figure as Abraham in the Talmud. It is believed he was closely connected to Archangel Metatron, who, although he sounds more like a Power Ranger, is believed to be the highest of all the Archangels and the closest to God. Some believe he is the angel who greets you at the spiritual bridge between Earth and Heaven which technically makes him the Grim Reaper. In Greek mythology he is considered the equivalent of Hades who took spirits across the Styx to the underworld. Please feel free to comment on this and let us know what your thoughts on this are. This is a breaking news alert. Please check back or follow us on Google Plus and Twitter for updates as details become available. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this. Also don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button now. World Source Media, just spreading the real and letting you know. Feel free to partner with World Source Media. As partner you will receive exclusive partner only access to VIP top stories that only our partners have access to, along with early access to reports and to our top 5 and 10 and 20 countdowns.